right, you're going to have to forgive me because I don't normally do videos, but uh, I've been thinking about the voodoo magic and figured I would share it. So uh, my machine, I don't know if you can see it. Hey, look, where's the word? Uh, Janome. I have a fancy Janome that my husband and son got for me for Mother's Day a couple of years ago. Oh, there's the word Janome. Hey, look right there, Janome. Uh, Memory Cow 6600. It's a pretty spendy machine. Uh, it has uh, an eyelet on it. Uh, but when you do an eyelet on the, the machine, it just sort of like stitches in a circle and doesn't cut out the middle, um, which is fabulous, but not really fabulous because you end up with, you know, the thing that you want to have reinforced, not actually reinforced. So I've been really hesitant to use it because, well, it doesn't do what I really want it to do. Uh, and then I happened to stumble across a video, and I'll see if I can find the link to it. Uh, but the person that was doing it had an Elna. I, I don't have an Elna. I have a Janome. But they had this fabulous thing. So this is an eyelet plate that is for the Elna 8000, uh, 9000, I think. And it's this little plate uh, that has a post. I don't know if you, there you go. You can see the little post that sticks up. This is the small version. I haven't been able to find the big version yet. I think I got it for like $17 off of eBay. Uh, and I got it, you know, 17 is okay to spend even for something that's not going to work. Um, but I got this and then I asked my loving husband if he would help me to completely ruin my sewing machine, which stunningly enough he agreed to do. So you can just barely see right here. And right here, I had my husband drill holes into my plate. I actually, I had him put it in and we're not machinists. So they um, are actually a little bit off. They should actually be centered over the lines. So they're a little bit further forward than they, they should be. Um, it works. I go slow. It doesn't kill my machine. So, so far, so good. Uh, when I'm doing this, I use this foot which is labeled F2. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it is, it's labeled F2. I have no idea what it's supposed to be for, um, but I use it for this. Um, I could probably look through my machine and figure it out in the manual, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this one-handed because I, I don't have any way to set up my phone to record because like I said, I never do this. Maybe if I keep doing it, I'll get a tripod or something. So yes, this is going to be one of those boring videos where you get to watch me struggle with my machine that won't connect and do the thing that it's supposed to do. No, really, get in there. Ah, there you go. All right. And so you take the little plate and you get it to line up with the holes and it just kind of drops in. And so now it is all set. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Um, when I drop the foot, you can see that it just, it kind of nudges the plate. Um, it's not a big deal because when I'm sewing, the foot's always going to be in the down position. Um, all right, so settings, just in case you have a note, Janome, and you really want to know what I'm doing. Um, here is exactly the settings that I have. I chose eight, which is the zigzag stitch. I went for a width of four. I tried smaller widths, but it actually takes the needle and moves it further to the right, which moved it out of the, the little upright area. So, eh, whatever. Um, I have the feed dog set at zero. I actually dropped them down. Um, so that it wouldn't try and feed dog the little plate. Uh, in order to do that, there's a little switch down here. You have to push all the way to the right and it drops the feed dogs down. Um, and that's pretty it. There you go. Uh, so let me see if I can juggle this one-handed. I have my stunt bodice that I'm working on. And I have a bunch of them that I've already done, which I've done these in one night, which is fabulous. I am so completely thrilled. Um, I took my awl and I poked a hole in it. And now I'm going to see if I can get this to line up one-handed. Bear with me. Sorry, you get to see my bookshelf. Uh, all right, so I've got it on there. Almost. <laughs> all right, I literally cannot do this one-handed. Okay, sorry for the awful picture, but seriously. All right, so I've got this centered over the post. Get it on there. I'm gonna have to drop the feed dog. So just pretend that you see me putting it over the post and getting the, all the threads to go in the right place. Ah, pause. 
All right. Let's see if it's going to focus in again. Hello. There it is. All right. So I have managed to get the fabric onto the post. Um, honestly, if I had a tripod, you could have watched it, but I, I can't juggle this one-handed. And in fact, I'm not going to be able to completely sew it because it you really have to wrestle with it in order to get it to turn. Oh, that's the other thing is that this, the press, pre, presser foot pressure, is set at zero. So it is as light as I can possibly get it for the foot to be pushing down. Um, because I'm I'm essentially manually uh, twisting the fabric around the post. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set the foot down. And then, here we go. All right, so the machine, and I, I haven't figured out how to tell it to stop doing it. It does like three straight stitches before it starts on the zigzag, um, which is not terribly helpful. Um, but it does its three straight stitches. And then it goes out, in, out. And then I'm going to hit the button, this one right here. This means, hey, can you tie a knot for me? And Fancy Machine will then tie a knot for me. Um, I'm not sure it's necessary, but I figured I could do it. So then we're going to go in. It goes three more stitches, which is annoying, but I can't make it stop. And then from now on, it's just going to go zigzag. And what I should be doing is turning the fabric, but I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time. All right, so I'm going to pause again. All right, so I went all the way around. I wasn't quite as careful as I could have been, but whatever. It's This is honestly, at this point, it is an eyelet that's going to be on my underwear, so nobody cares. All right, Um. so the last thing, since it's on the outside position, I'm going to tell it to make a knot again. Do a couple of knots. And then when it hits the button, then I'll hit the cut the thread because it's a fancy machine and it'll do that for me. And then if I can pop it out ah, without dropping it, you end up with fancy dancy eyelets, which actually enclose the threads. And I've done two sides of this in about an hour, which is fabulous. All right, so there you go. Um, Ta-da. It's voodoo magic with eyelids.